Hello, and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is January 15th, 2020. I am Andrew Ariano. The gentleman in the SD hat is Grant Fierro. I love that you got the, you're representing in LA, the big old <laughs> SD. You could take the man away from San Diego, but you can't take the San Diego away from the man. Yeah, it's true. Where'd I love San Diego. Where did you get it? Where'd you get that? Uh, my brother gave it to me for Christmas, but I had I, I was looking for it. Like it wasn't just a random gift. Like I wanted one. I wanted a San Diego hat. Oh, I love that. I yeah. like that. Don't don't Thank be ashamed you. where you come from. <laughs> San not Diego. San Diego is not like a city. You should be ashamed of anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a place people are really hyped to go. <laughs> no reason to be ashamed of it. Yeah. Uh, Grant, how was uh? Did you do any skateboarding this week? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I was able to go out skating yesterday um, in Long Beach, got a quick session at Cherry Park in the morning, um, mm. and then went out to a spot. I didn't personally skate the spot, but a friend did. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> but I skated yesterday. What? What's the spot? What's going on? Uh, you go over a curb onto a little shootout ledge, and then land on the sidewalk, and then go into the street. You didn't want to uh, skate that? No, nah, I didn't really feel like I had anything for it. It was cool, but mm. I don't know. I wasn't really, uh, I didn't feel like I was going to, I don't know. I didn't feel like skating it. and didn't feel like I had a trick really. Oh. Um, yeah, but. Well, is, it, is it more like a gap or what is it? Is it... Uh, no, I mean, you kind of gap in because you go over a curb to get up onto the ledge. Um, but once you're over that curb, just kind of like a short shootout ledge. What's, uh, a, what's a ledge trick that you've been playing with recently? Back nose grinds and back nose grind one eighties, mm-hmm. but that the, the, that like nose grinds wouldn't work on that spot. Is it was kind of like you know like the cinder block walls that are like at the top it's like a little bit round. It's like a little mound. So you said the top of cinder blocks? Uh, not a cinder block itself, but sometimes when cinder blocks are used to like build walls, like houses or something. Yeah. Um, or like in, they're in parking lots a lot. The top of the cinder block wall will have concrete to whatever like flatten it out but they're usually like a little bit rounded and kind of wide it was like that so nose grind tricks wouldn't have worked and oh, it's also front side for me but i have been doing just in, on ledges in general like i like messing around with back nose ground 180s so that trick feels cool okay yeah and you're always going back side on your 180s yeah back nose grind back 180 back nose grind front 180s that's a crazy one i don't think i could do that mm, i think you need to play with it a little bit I could, I'll try, but I don't know when I when I do back nose grind back one eighty or nolly back one eighty whatever. It's just like it's all one motion. Like you get right. into back nose grind and your shoulders are already going that way, so that's like the easy way to one eighty bout. But I always thought that trick looked cool, so they're fun to do. But when you do like Malto can do back nose grind nolly front one eighty and Chad Tim Tim does them too, and they look so good. You gotta have lots of control for that one. That's what I'm saying. You should do the front one eighty. I'll I'll give it a shot for you. Yeah. Give it, give I want to be a back nose grinder, dude. Like when I see people just like back nose grind a whole ledge, it looks so sick. Yeah, I hear you. It's just like a smooth, not not like it's insane, but like it just looks good. It was a brief period. I remember I was wearing these DCs, and I thought I could back nose grind really well, bounce them really good with these DC shoes. <laughs> but the way that I would approach it wouldn't really. It was more like a head-on nose grind than it was considered to be a back one eighty. For some reason, I I found difficulty me trying to uh, lock on backside instead of just hitting the ledge straight on. So it goes, yeah. For for me, my opinion, I think back nose grind is like I back it if you do it head on because then you do the whole ledge. So I back it. But a lot of tricks I don't like when people go head on the ledges. Like mm. if you're doing a nose blunt side trick and you go head on, it's like. Mm. Was it really kinda, was it really right, nose blunt or was it a kinda. nose slide? Yeah, you pretty much <laughs> nose slid the hard way. <laughs> Obviously, it's impressive, nose but slide. it's just not nose cool. slide front head on nose slide. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but, I don't know. I like the sound of that. Head on yeah. nose slide said no one ever. <laughs> yeah, but for back nose grand, I think it's fine if you go straight over the top because. That's still not easy, and you got to hold it the whole edge or pop out, which is also hard. So, I back it. But I, I know what you mean, though. Like it, it's a little weird at first, um, figuring out like 
being on the side of Legend doing back nose grind. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Figure it out, I guess. Did we already talk about? Oh yeah, we did. We did talk about uh. What? The uh, new real video. Yeah, we did last week. Oh. On our last episode. I want to talk more about it, but it was done last well, we week. Could do, what, there's nothing wrong with that. There's no rules. What do you want to talk about? Uh, for the longest time, I thought a shot didn't even skate. And I was like, oh, there is more. It was just that Kyle's part was so overwhelming. I was surprised that a shot got he, sa- last part. They gave him last wait, part. Wait, what do you mean you thought a shot didn't even skate? What? what? <laughs> because when, when, uh, when Kyle was done, I was like, oh. Looks like it's the end of the video. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, Kyle shut it down, but yeah, Shad. I don't know if they gave if they gave uh, Shad last part. Oh, you you think it should have been a shot and then Kyle? I'll be honest with you, I didn't really watch a shot's part. Was there? Or, oh my god. What what was the ender? That's a top tier of Shad wear video part. I asked you last you week watch if you that. feel like that was yes. his best video. Said it's up there, and I mean, even since then, it's grown on me more. Like that is such a well-rounded, amazing video part. Mm. His ender, he switched crooks the Oakland Courthouse shootout ledge. Oh, I'm not familiar. Kyle back lipped it in his part. It's a super tall shootout ledge. Carol Foster front nose slid it back in the day. Mm. Kev Bradley back tailed it. It's very tall and drops off super tall. Everything about it looks gnarly. <laughs> um, I mean, I would, you were psyched on Kyle's front 180 over Wilshire, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, you know, I'm I'm more hyped on the uh, on the photo than I am of the vi- on the footage. The photo just oh, yeah? looks the photo just looks too good. The photo is sick. The photo's really sick. Uh, I'm not familiar with this. Uh, some of these guys' names that you have on the topic list. Who's John Selmons? John Clemens. He oh, is, is that a... how you say it? Yeah, it's pronounced Clemens. I believe. Could be wrong, but I think it's Clemens. Yeah, actually, that's um, right. What do I call him? Selmons. Yes, yeah, Selmons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's C L, so it's definitely not Sel. Uh, I mean, maybe if it was C E L, but anyway, John Clemens, I believe. Uh, I know he was getting foundation boards for a while. I think he left. I think he might get Doomsayer's boards now. Um, but I'd seen these, a little bit these of him. Brands trip me out, man. There's, I don't. I, ne- I, I I've heard of Doomslayers or whatever you call Sayers. it. Doomsayers. Doomsayers. It's uh, Omar Salazar's company. Oh, look at that! Good old, good old yeah. Omar Salazar. I mean, dude, is he still on Nike? No, I don't think he is anymore. Mm. Uh, but yeah, John Clemens Spitfire part, definitely some... If you like watching people kill rails, you'll be into this one for sure. There is some rail demolishing. Um, open Eclipse, pretty insane. He grinds up and across that rail as security is in the car driving towards him. <laughs> it was pretty nuts. Um, front, he front boarded a double kink. I thought that was tight, just because you see a lot of kink rails these days. A lot of like grind tricks on kink rails, which is tight, but... Um, front board's cool because it's such a basic one, but so scary and risky on a kink rail. Oh, so. I'm still, um, I don't, <laughs> did you notice that, that the filmer got a car accident, but too late? He was filming a oh, car no. accident. I yeah. didn't. Yeah. Where right at the that? part, right where, I, right in the very beginning where it says presents. Look at the back of this. Uh, oh yeah. The back of this SUV and look at the front of it. And then you can see that <laughs> there's like a. It looks like it. It's oh, a... a wheel goes flying. Oh, does there's, it? Look, there's a, yes, look. Right when it fades from, look at pause it. Right when it fades from black to the beginning of the part, there's a wheel flying at the wall. You're not seeing that. That's not a wheel. That's yes, the top, it that's is. the top of a trash can. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a top of a can. <laughs> it's a top of a can. But you dude, can, I don't but, know if I'm. I don't know if I'm convinced that that's not a wheel. Oh wait a minute. Oh, you're dude, talking about. Sure oh, you're talking about wheel. white before. Oh. Or is it a trash can? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're right. There is a. Tra- there is. There's a can. 
I don't know what that is. There's a can and a wheel. Yeah. Okay, but, anyway. But to give to some get more to context, this. there's an SUV with its bumper flowing off. The front end looks like it's... The car's totaled as far as I'm concerned, but the, the, the skateboarder... I'm guessing that's John that's making that face. Yes. Yeah. Anyways, Jared, back, I, I next clip, might be security guards over here right, driving right next to him. I, I mean, what are you going to do? That's yeah, sketchy. That's sketchy. That he that he that he went for that him. that the car is driving right in front of you and you still land right in front of the car. You know what he needed, Grant? He needed a spotter. No, <laughs> you know what's funny about that though? Like I always think this with especially with security guards. One of the biggest things you hear from a security guard is that they're they don't want you to get hurt because it's liability. Yet this dude is almost driving into him in his car. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> um, it's also really gnarly because he John comes to pretty much a complete stop at the top of that back fifty, like looking at the security uh, security guard in the car, and then just pops out. Whoa! I never see fakey. What would that be? Fakey? No. I'd blood? call it fake fakey front blunt personally on that shootout ledge. That was sick. Yeah. Is that fakey front blunt? I guess you're right. That's what I'd call it. He's in a front side blunt slide. It's also in a switchback nose bump, but fakey switch sounds weird, so I say fakey front blunt. That's a that's a whole debate on its own, but <laughs> Yeah, I know. You just you, you ever get into like a, a name contest like a a name argument with a skateboarder? He's like, This was what I did was fakey nose grind. No, 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 no. It's like a fakey flip nose grind. But he says, "No, I did a fakey flip switch front nose." That wait, what? <laughs> nose grind or switch front nose? Yeah. I f- I mean, you definitely hear like or the fakey, fakey or fakey five o. That's what. Yeah, that's probably yeah. what I should have said. Yeah, that's that's the classic one. I mean, to me. Yes, I've definitely had discussions with with other skateboarders <laughs> regarding the whole. No, 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 no. I didn't ask if you had discussion. I asked if you had an argument. Yes, we've had debates, arguments okay. regarding the name of tricks. To me, a fakey five o is a fakey ollie, and you're in a switch frontside nose grind. That's a fakey five o grind. Oh, My I think opinion. okay. I like that. Damn, I'm coming up with some healthy questions without even trying to come up with healthy questions. Yeah. Hey, have you wa- have you gotten to the ender yet? Because that front blunt. I'm watching it. Um, yeah, I feel like it's coming up soon. It's beautiful. Is it the blunt 360? Yep, front blunt. Uh, backs at 270 out. So good. Crusty roll away too. Uh, he's probably gonna get pissed that you said 270. He's like, nah, it's 360, bro. Oh, it's, a, it's a 270. <laughs> it's a fact. I mean, he was in front blunt. You can't <laughs> if you back three out of front blunt. Good luck rolling away. <laughs> Go sideways. <laughs> Go sideways. <laughs> uh, yeah that was sick dude he definitely killed it it was someone i i was familiar with him because i don't know if he still gets nikes yeah nikes a lot in this park uh, but i remember nike did a skate park roundup at linda vista when the park was new and he was actually there um and was skating and i was like wow this dude's killing it um uh, so been a little familiar with him since then but i don't think i've watched a part of his i don't think so i was psyched when i saw this drop today um Definitely killed it. Standouts, that fakey front blunt that we mentioned. He front boarded that curved shootout ledge. I thought that was really cool. Mm. The curve in it made me think of Karsten Kleplin because that dude's always skating like curved rails and ledges and stuff. Um, and obviously gnarly rail stuff. So it was tight. Awesome. Really good ender too. Good ender. Good ender choice. Oh, yeah. And the, I think the spot he did it on was also rad. Yeah, it was unique. It was cool too. Like it wasn't. A lot of these spots I don't think I've seen before, or at least not very much. Pretty never, unique spot. I never heard of Josh Paul. Josh Paul, yeah. Um, he might. I think he's Australian. He's on Passport, which is an Australian board brand. Whoa! This guy only like rolls up to that kickflip backside tail slide on that little ledge to Broken Bank. He looks just like Josh Buznitz. But when he zooms in right there, he looks more like Gary Busey. That, wait, did you mean Dennis Buznitz? What did I say, Josh Buznitz? Yeah. Oh, that's Josh Paul and Buznitz together. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel so ashamed. You know, if Jim that's could get so pissed at me for fucking anybody's name, it's Buznitz. 
<laughs> <laughs> I'm okay uh, with forgetting Mark Gonzalez, but not Dennis Boozinus. Dude, I'll never forget that you forgot Gonz's name. That was classic. There's just so many skateboarders. You can't remember all the guys. Yeah, names. but Gons is like that's like nearly like for for a skateboarder that's like nearly forgetting Tony Hawk. Like how would that even? You know what? The the fact that we're talking about Gons on Josh Paul's part is making me upset. You're right, Josh Paul. You deserve some recognition. That kickflip back tail shove at the beginning and the crust. Wow, into that bank. And for the I listeners, really... his name is Josh Paul with uh, two L's, not a U. Oh, yeah, it's P-A-L-L, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was psyched on this part. This dude skates really fast, that's for sure. Um, Whoa, yeah. Skates a lot of cool spots. He does. He really, he got a handful, I think maybe three three tricks on that curved ledge around the tree. It's in L.A. Been seeing a a good amount of footage there recently. I love Uh, these shove it nose, uh, these shove it nose, would that be a tail slide or a nose nose slide? I guess it's a shove it nose slide. You got a time duration I could check? Uh yeah, how about try one forty five. One forty five. Let me see what he does here. One forty five. Uh, that's not right. Uh, try one thirty five. One thirty five. Oh yeah, shove it no slide. That was really sick. He does two does back to switch. back. And he like popped out of the switch one. That was tight. Yeah, well, and then he follows it up with that roll on switch back nose grind. That is really crazy. That that curb is curved sharply he even skated uh, is that la la high yeah switch front nose la high uh, uh, i like how he says fuck the ollie just get into it <laughs> and he just jammed his way in <laughs> <laughs> pretty sick i want to see i like this dude you man. know what i want that to be a trend this year no more popping in no more yeah popping popping your tricks are whack now i mean sloppies are popular so <laughs> Yeah, but sla- slappies have had their day. Let's let's move away from the slappies. Then well, how, how do you want people to get into tricks? <laughs> just, just end I up there. That, that's not technically a slappy. That back tail. Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. What I mean, you his LA high trick. He kind of just got into it. <laughs> he was just in switch front nose somehow. Here we go, dude. This backsmith and then pop out on the curb. I ledge, love so. that. I was just watching so him too. Sick. And he does that. He has a few other tricks. He back tails it really cool. And he also has a uh, half Whoa! cap crook. Whoa! Half cap crook to 50? 50. Yeah. That, he did that really cool. The way he popped into the 50, I think, made that sick. That is cool. Do you got a trick it's, on that spot? Uh, no, I've been there. I haven't done anything. If I go again, I, I mean, I don't think I'll have anything like real to like film on it, but. I should probably at least like back Did 50 he or something. Did fakey 5 that planner, that curved planner? Yeah, Lasky, that was crazy. Wow. Hey, speaking of fakey 5 <laughs> That is nuts. Anyways, I, I wasn't listening to you. Do you have a trick on that curved ledge? No, I've, I've never done anything on it. I've been, but. Have you ever tried to skate? Have you ever skated it? I think I like all the way down to a couple back 50s and then was just chilling. But oh. if I go back, oh, did you do the I'll, whole thing? I'll back fifty it for you. Nah, if I go back, I'll I'll back fifty it. I'll be, I'll try back. That'd 50 be cool. It. Yeah, get that on the gram. I'll I'll put on my story and tag you. But nah, I don't this think guy I loves real... the spot too much. He he ate a handful of tricks on it. Yeah. I don't think I could do anything legit on it. I think it's pretty tough to skate. It's definitely not. You, you know what he should have done though, because you get he's getting different angles. He's probably gone there with different filmers. I would imagine. Maybe not. Maybe maybe it's the same filmer, but he just wants to get a different angle approach. But mm-hmm. My thing is, is that if you're going to skate a spot multiple times, just do it all in the same, like do it back to back to back. Like in the, in the part, have it like that? Yeah. I, I agree, actually. It was, the thing that surprised me was that the back tail was way after the other two clips. I thought that was kind of weird. That's what I'm saying. Is that, yeah. Like, when you, you try to fake the funk, like I thought, you know what makes me feel like is that I've, it makes me feel like, okay, damn, he killed the sea ledge. Oh, he's still skating the sea ledge. <laughs> like an, a minute later. Like, why are you trying yeah. to, why are you trying to, what are you doing to me here, man? I thought you were done. So I feel like you lied to me. Wow, dude, the nose grind pop out is, and, dude, his last two tricks. That kickflip front tail is beautiful. Wow. No, I'll take a look at it. Dude, you have to watch the end. I love this, dude. Shout out Josh Paul. Amazing, amazing part. That was beautiful. With the fakey flip fifty? 
Mm, you're getting there. Two more tricks. The last, both of the last two tricks are great. Oh, ooh! It looked like he rolled his foot. On he that. did on that half cap flip. Ugh. All right, check out the nose grind pop out and then kick flip front oh, tail. Oh, I love that front side flip over the rail. Oh yeah, that too. That was sick. Held on to it. Oh, you like that nose grind? Dude, yeah, that was tight. And then watch the ender. So sick. <gasps> <laughs> oh, oh my god dude that was rad solitary that is fucking nuts great ender again two parts in a row where they chose a great ender wow to me the ender should be the trick that like everyone wants to post on instagram like that kickflip front tail that that's the one i love kickflip front tails because i can never do them yeah, that doesn't make any sense. And then the, the, the fact that he did it on that spot also makes it like... And I'm upset that these two skaters, I would imagine, that came well, went there with them don't seem to care. Okay, <laughs> it was all filmed by Jeff Campbell. Yeah, he killed oh, it, man. never mind. There's other. There's Cody Green. There's other. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, damn, you really went there that many times with Jeff? Leave him alone. <laughs> He probably, you know, when you got a filmer and you're like, hey, I'm thinking about going back. You're like, dude, I don't want to go back to that spot. <laughs> <laughs> can't make it. You can't make it. Yeah. Call Cody, bro. I ain't going there. I ain't going. Frankie Volani on Thunder Trucks. He got Thunder Truck shit. He got his own signature Thunder Truck. Oh, um, what was it? I think I saw it on Instagram. Or is this, or is this the video where they said... Uh, how Frankie designed his hot dog graphic? Yeah, he actually drew it on his iPad. Oh, on his iPad. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, pretty rad. It shows on the Thunder Instagram. I was going to mention that too. They, uh, it shows the process. Like him, he just doodles the little hot dog and like changes the colors. Um, and then if you swipe, it shows like he put it on a truck, like not in physical, but like on Photoshop or whatever app he was using. Um, and he. You can tell he colored over the bushings like he wanted the bushings the bushings to be pink and they end up making pink bushings, which they they don't normally make those bushings um, to match his little hot dog graphic, That's uh, which rad. is pretty rad. Yeah, it's super cool because, I mean, obviously you see pro pro stuff every day, pro trucks, wheels, boards, whatever. But mm -hmm. it's always cool when you see one that the dude himself like put put some effort into yeah like frank he, he did that yeah art. he did, just didn't have a touch to it he made it yeah so i thought that was really rad i think it's cool that they shared that story it's i think that i mean like to me that's super rad and i'm sure other people think that's cool um a couple clips to go along with it front hurricane and full cab are obviously really good frankie always has great full cabs and then that, you know what that actually 50 is, 50 where he has to like angle his way out or he's gonna hit the front of that wall yeah, transfer it was pretty crazy. Frankie has great frontside flips and full cabs, so shout out to Frontside Reynolds. flips are off the chain. Dude, he really has one of the best frontside flips. I, this, You know, watching him skate right now makes me want to see his primitive part again. That's a good one. It's my favorite part. It honestly is. His pro part is for primitive is super good as well. Oh, did he turn pro for them? Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. He was AM when he was on Zero. And then, yeah. Uh, I think when he was welcome to Primitive, he was still AM and then was AM for them for a little while and then turned pro. Wasn't he? Never mind. I'm thinking of a different skateboarder. You know, this footage of it, uh, all three of his clips are in black and white. It makes me feel like he's still on Zero. But he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like on Mystery. <laughs> he's on mystery yeah yeah but this footage is hd so you know also doesn't help with that little the the heart with the little the little thunder thunder heart with the lightning bolt in it it's yes kind of, it's kind of similar to the mystery logo <laughs> dude <laughs> frankie ain't on mystery it, no do you do you not... I, I see what you're saying yeah but yes have you ever seen black and white the mystery video I've seen parts from it. I don't know if I've seen the whole video. Watch Ryan Smith's part. Yeah, yeah. she gave it a Oh, one. and Dan Murphy. Dan Murphy is good, a good part, too. Ryan Smith used to skate for DC, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All one right, my, I'll, I'll give him those parts. All-time favorite skateboarders, hands down. Hands I'll give him a one. down. <laughs> he was so cool.
He was he was like teaching people how to do a big spin board slides, uh, inside when DC used to have their own training facility, mm-hmm. and there was a there was one where uh, he had the little he had like a little blue ranger like a power ranger, and he was like <laughs> <laughs> he's like don't don't sack your nuts, and he was like because that shit hurts, but they like it was like uh back when you you cursing was like frowned upon so they just like was this on it. the barracks no barracks wasn't was even it? a thing it was like a dc, DC? trick tips oh crazy yeah he was like he, he put a little green ranger and he put like his dick on the like it, it, between the legs <laughs> on the rail he's like that shit hurts <laughs> fucking love ryan smith what else is on the docket man let's see jocko grady jack o'grady cover a new thrasher am scramble issue with the oh they put ams on they put ams on covers too ams can get covers oh that's cool yeah. uh i mean this this cover and issue in particular is pretty much about the uh 2019 am scramble trip which i think the video is premiering sometime in the next couple weeks mm. um and that big back fifty is from that trip on that massive hubba with that pillar at the bottom that he needs to dodge. It's pretty gnarly. <laughs> I like how his boy got Super. the his boy's probably jocking that he got uh, background props on the yeah, cover that's, of Thrasher. Uh, that's Giovanni Viana uh, on Primitive. Oh, I don't know. That's cool. Well, you you watched Encore, right? Yeah, but I just watched Paul. He had two tricks in Encore. So oh, is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I mix up. I mix up the two primitive videos. Oh, never. No, the new one. Uh, no, didn't I don't you watch remember. the whole video? Yes, I you watched Giovanni's part. He did. He's Ender's cab front hurricane to straight. He was doing all the crazy fakey tricks. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you know, primitive. He ain't gonna be prolonged. Am you mean? <laughs> I mean, am. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that dude's insane. But yeah, Jack That's O'Grady, that up gnarly hubba. back. And you, you notice the lines on it? Those things look like it could fuck you up. Oh, yeah, they look like little cracks, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder about that. He must have. He's some, in it. He must have had some strong uh, thunders to get through that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's for Indy, but yeah. <laughs> um, he's in that back fifty, kind of funny if you really zoom in. Because I feel like, especially back fifteen a hub, but normally your front toe side wheels would be pushed all the way against the edge of the ledge, but his aren't. I wonder if that's the make. I'm I'm not even looking at his feet. Look at his hands. He looks like he's ready to fight somebody. <laughs> he's, he's got it. He's probably going so fast. We get you at. What do you think the stair count is before we actually count? That's I think, gotta be I like think a, it's more high than long, but it looks like a. It looks like I'm gonna say a it's 15. seventeen. Okay, yeah, let's see. <laughs> hey, Five, you ever, six. You ever see seven. that meme where it says skateboarders be like, and then he's like, the guy's like, puts his index finger on the stairs? I think it's a 21. Yeah, I have seen that. It's either a 20 it's a or a 21. 21. I think so, yeah. That's beefy. Not really. Where's that? Well, we get to see the footage soon. Uh, I don't know. I know they went through Florida on the trip, but I don't think they were only in Florida, so. I'm not it sure. It could be in Florida. That could be anywhere in the world, really. <laughs> yeah, it could. It just looks like an industrial building. Yeah. It looks like so. the type of place where you have to renew your driver's license. Not a DMV, but like a like a like a commercial federal building or something. It could be. Maybe you get your passport there. Yeah, it could be the passport place. You know what's cool about uh, just like a funny funny story i remember getting my passport is actually at the civic center in downtown san diego Mm -hmm. it's just funny like going there to go inside the building instead of going there to skate (laughs) yeah yeah like the classic spot like we spent a lot of time there um but i actually went inside (laughs) oh oh look at this this is appropriate your uh your last week's grant's gram is uh on the topic list is it? Wait, what? Did oh, you? Louis Lopez, yeah. yes. I, I feel like he you is. forget all your Grant's Grams. <laughs> well, no, I just didn't know what you meant because you said, the, like, like almost like I put the wrong link I thought you meant. 
But I remember Louis was last week. His video at Stoner. Uh, remix for five dollars. Well, you got five bucks. <laughs> a dude gave him a five dollar bill on that back five zero. The target, really... the target employee gave him five bucks. It looked like he ro- worked for Target. Yeah, I think. Was he, that Jake Johnson he, he was with? Yeah, I love that guy. Yeah, yeah. All this footage is pretty much after the Converse full length purple came out. This is all just footage from mainly like Converse trips, um, like, oh, an FA trip video, just stuff that had been put in montages, but all put together of just Louis. Oh, so this is old footy. Uh, yeah, it's a remix. So it's all been out. It's all pretty recent, but yeah, it's all been o- other places. Mm. Hurricane, wow, that's amazing. He's so good, dude. I think Lou Lopez, hands down, is in the top five of the best skaters in the world. He could skate everything. He's like a shot. They could skate everything. I know he has the nastiest tranny skills. He could skate tranny. He could get tech. He could jump. He could skate rails. He could do it all. He even made a backside nose side look so beautiful right there. And what a what what a what a great skateboarder. One well, wall ride over the phone, uh, the payphone. That's awesome. Yeah, that was sick. That was a Converse ad. He needs to be Sody one day, man. I think I probably said this last week when we were talking about him. I started talking about when when Jamie won, which I back. But man, I just hope Louis wins sometime. He's just so good. He has to. He might he might be one of those good skateboarders that never get it. I mean, there's there's a there's a lot of skateboarders that don't get Sody. It's just Paul, an award. Got it, your boy. Sody Sody is Sody is whoever you make it. <laughs> it's whoever Thrasher makes it. Yeah, but but who's Thrasher though? I mean, I understand that they're a really popular magazine. This isn't a diss on them, but as far as to value to you, not every skateboarder yeah, in the world but... is going to get Sody. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. But in my opinion, Louis in that elite level that should get it. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought about Louis Barnell, and he never got it. True. Paul never I mean, got it. Definitely, yeah. Shane PJ hasn't never got it. got it. Shane, I don't, I don't personally think Shane will because he's had insane years that he hasn't won. So I'm just like, <laughs> when would he win? At Shane this never got. Yeah, there's. So you're just saying because due to his age and his skill level, you think that you just you think he's going to be up there in the running. You know, there's another skateboarder that I I feel like that that's still young and is Robert Neal. I don't know if yeah, he'll true. ever get it. I mean, definitely young. I think he'd be kind of like uh, almost like a different look from like the average Thrasher Sody. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm sure he has a lot of video parts left in him. As does dudes like Shane. Even like yeah, Shane's. Obviously older than Robert Neal, but I didn't say that to like diss on Shane. Like I know. Shane's got a lot left in him. I, I was just making the case like it's okay if Louie doesn't get Sody. Oh yeah, for sure. It's I not, mean it's not gonna be in the world. Still gonna be one of my favorite skaters. I don't whatever if he wins an award. <laughs> Always gonna be one of my favorites. He's one of the best. Like 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 Hitor he cool. or he- Hetor? What's his name? Hitor? How you say it? High tour. High tour? I mean high tour st- high tour stoked. should be Sody too. I'm stoked that you're so stoked on high tour. Oh dude. That, that gets me hyped. Dude, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. There should be no human being that's not hyped on high tour. <laughs> <laughs> like who who's that guy that 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 uh that got sober like last year that you were really hyped on? And he came out with a dope video part with his friend where they're both skating like oh, doubles. Oh, Yarnay. Yarnay. Mm-hmm. Do, do you think Yarnay should? Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to make a run for Yarnay to get to be a uh, Sodi? Uh, yeah, but like, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Yarnay skating, but like, I don't see him winning Sodi, and that's not like disrespect. It's just. I don't know. Uh, you ha- you get like a, it's like a you're on a big name. You got to be like a huge name to like really be one of the dudes that could win. Mm. And Yarny's a big name. He's pro, whatever, but he's not like 
in my opinion, like really on that list, at least yet. Um, the Saudi finest are usually like the huge names. Tiago, Ishad, whatever, you know, like Louis. Shane is usually like up there if he puts footage out that year, like a part. Did Tiago um, ever get it? He hasn't won. He's def- He's been up there multiple times. He'll probably win at some point. Or he could be on that list of amazing skaters that don't win, but almost win. Mm. Like Figgy. I know. Fuck. What kind of case is that? You know what I mean? I mean, where are you at, been... at the beginning of the year? Where are you talking about Sodi? <laughs> Dude, that's just how it is now. Like, Sodi's such a big thing. It's just like a conver- I mean, conversation for the whole year. But, but, but I know, but that's – like, I agree with you on that. But that's why I'm trying to make the discussion and saying – it shouldn't be everything. It shouldn't be. Yeah, a big true. Deal. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just an because award chosen got, by like one you, company. You said the best example, and that is Figgy. Figgy. I mean, it's it's Justin also Figueroa, thing the fucking is that it's the hucker, the the, the guy that breaks bones, the guy that yeah. he's next. He's so he's so beyond gnarly. So fucking awesome. And it, the, the reason I feel like my enthusiasm is so high for Justin Figgy is because, like a lot of skateboarders, you see him you see him grow up and grow into their own. But when you think of the guy that was on Birdhouse with braces and long hair with no tattoos, and you see him, and I'll never forget what did what did fucking uh, Jake uh, Jake from Thrasher call him? He called him a moose. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Oh no, he's like, he's like, he's like Justin. He's like, he has like really big antlers. It's so funny. He's talking. To, he's talking to Andrew Reynolds about him. Uh, <laughs> <that's funny. laughs> it is funny. Yeah. And then you see what Justin is now, and he's he's twenty twenty million times better than he was from the beginning video. Mm-hmm. And his switch flips are." His switch flip and his tray flips for a rail guy should not be that good. They really shouldn't. <laughs> they should not. I always trip out on his, his big spin front board down Muirlands in May Chapter 2, his mm-hmm. ender. He gets into big spin front board with his feet like way closer together than I feel like he wanted them to be. But he somehow made it. Yeah. Like, they looked uncomfortably <laughs> close. Like, he was probably looking at his feet like, why are they so close? You know who skates like that is George Torres. He sets his feet uh, up yeah. weird for uh, uh, a hard flip back tail. Yeah, I was, I was, I've seen him do that one. I had a feeling that was going to be the one. Mm-hmm. Harf, harf, all of his hard flips don't look like they're supposed to work. I yeah. feel like for, he puts them so close to the hard flip back tail because it needs to flip so fast to get into the back tail. Mm. Sure. But, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, but... I mean, you, well, you don't mean you don't hard flip the same. Yeah, we do. But, do them but, very but we don't, but we don't, but we also don't set our feet up like that either. So, yeah, true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did we run through the topic list, right? We ran through that, that. That's the list. Yeah. That's the list. Okay. That is the list. Well, um, let's talk about, uh, we won't get directly into the Grant's Graham. But we'll talk okay. about that. Paul came out with three clips this week on Instagram. And uh Good you were, stuff. I just uh I just I'm loving to see Paul. Paul's looking good. Uh you had a he's grand back. He, oh yeah, he's back. He's back better than ever. Now you had uh you're gonna have to help me out with his last name again. You were considering <laughs> having Pedro Atten- Attenborough. Atten, Atten, what? Attenborough. Attenborough. Yeah. Uh, you considered him as a Grant's Graham. Dude, yes. Uh, I'm a big fan. Oh, and I, I could see why. I saw this. Uh, and we've seen a lot of Manny guys do this, where they do the regular manual, then they, then they switch over to a, <laughs> to a fakey. Favorite the fakey Manny. I look so tight. <laughs> but here's something about Instagram that I. I'm really being frustrated with is that whenever you're watching, especially with skateboarders that are uploading multiple lines, mm-hmm. Instagram is the worst platform to watch that on. Cause then you have to rewatch the whole clip over to want to see that 
second to last line or the last the line. worst is it's a 60 second post yeah and and if it's a 60 second post and i watch it that means i really like your skating because i will keep scrolling if not but like let's say a shot like 60 second edit or whatever i'm like all right i'm watching it <laughs> and i just want to watch i want to rewatch the last trick i'm like oh. i mean don't get me wrong shot i'm down to watch all the clips again but like i just want to rewatch the last one like why have they, you have you ever they downloaded? Put on a little thing to, you yeah, know, like yeah, like I know on the you post gotta have the there's... scrubber. Gotta just yes, back it why up. Why no scrubber? Add the scrubber. We need it. I, we need it for skateboarding for sure. And I was th- I was just thinking that. Like, I wonder if anyone else thinks that though. Like, it's is that just skaters? Of course. Oh, you mean as far as people outside of skateboarding? That's a good question. I guess it depends. Because what other video they're watching like? probably like a lot of like fail like funny type of videos on instagram like that which it's like you don't really need the scrubber because that stuff has like a quick climax usually yeah maybe for like i I, I guess i could i can i can understand the appeal to as far as a platform you want to use instagram in a different way because it's a different platform than your usual it's not a youtube it's not a twitter where you have the scrubbers so they're like, hey, if you want to fuck with us, you're going to rewatch that whole 60 seconds again because it's on I the want gram. The hey, I'm with I want you. The scrubber. I do too. But yeah, so back to this Grant's Gram thing. It was uh, Pedro Attenborough was up there, you know, but Pedro, you're, I'm sure you're going to be Grant's Gram another time. Hmm. Paul dropped three clips for his upcoming SB Dunk. And it was just so sick to see Paul skating in the streets coming back from his injury that I had to give it to him. Okay, so which one uh which one of the Grant's Grams? I guess we're doing the Grant's Gram. So what's uh, uh, what's your what's your uh, out of the three clips that he posted, which one is uh, gonna be the GG? It's gonna be his lines on the stair to ledge spot. Because this was, if I'm not mistaken, this was the first one he posted. Yeah, this is the first clips he posted out of the three. And I saw it, and I was like, dude, it just looks tight. Like, it's just like old Paul. Like, I don't know, like kind of baggy cargo pants and the dunk highs. Like, it's just cool to see him skating in dunks. Kind of takes you back maybe to, like, his days of before he had pro shoes or, like, when his pro shoes were a little bulkier and different. Um it's just cool, and and that switch heel was so good. Shout out to I think yeah Eric Eric Wakura filmed these, filmed them so sick, like all up close. The uh, audio is so good on them. I mean, definitely get a good look at his upcoming signature dunk, and it's just rad to see his perfect skating. That vertical heel was amazing down the stairs to start that second line, and it got me stoked. Just got hyped to see Paul in the streets. It was cool. Whoa. I never noticed that one. Did you notice the different swooshes? One's green and one's red. Yeah, and on the bottom of the sole, you can see it too. Before the switch front tail, it's red and green. Oh yeah, I mean, I know it's the sole, but I've never seen where one swoosh is green and one is red. Yeah, I did notice that. If I'm not mistaken, those are Mexican colors. They definitely are. White, red, and green. I actually had an interview come out. But I haven't watched it. It's on the Sneakers app, which is like a Nike app to purchase shoes. And uh, it's actually with Nicky Diamonds. And he talks about, like, the inspiration behind the shoes. Um, and it's inspired by boxing, actually. Um, mm-hmm. Which I think is why it has that little gold uh, little tag on the bottom of the shoelaces. So or, like, to the represent the scheme. belt. Yeah, I think it's kind of like boxing style thing. Yeah, um, Paul's, a, he, Paul's always been into boxing. Yeah, pretty red. Uh, cool to see them do a dunk with him too. Something different. Yep, Paul does it all, man. He does. Again, still showing these old geezers, showing, keeping it going. We're not the young guys anymore, man. We're not the young we. guys anymore. Well, he's—I mean—he's a little older than me. I think he has four years on me, but still. <laughs> oh, so if he has four years on me. So I'll be 32. He's going to be 36? He'll be thir- if you know for sure that he has four years on you, yeah. His yeah, but you know what? Those. Yeah, he his just birth- turned 35? No, so that's the thing is that Paul's birthday is the, the very last day. So he was born on New Year's Eve. Yeah. So he's... He's technically 34 until <laughs> until the New Year starts, you know what I mean? 
Oh. Y- you know what I mean? But his birthday isn't on the 1st. Isn't his birthday the 31st? Thir- that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so he's, it's his birthday, and then he has a whole last day of the year. Yeah. So, and then it's- oh, yeah, so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he'll be 35. He'll be thirty five. Uh, Wait, he's thirty five until he's thirty five until the last day of the year. I, he did, I thought he just turned thirty five. Or you're saying he just turned? Yes, 34. correct. He just turned thirty five. Oh, that's so he's thirty five. Correct. I see. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's what. Wow. That's tricky because it's the last day of the year. <laughs> that's what. That's what. That's what fucks me up. <laughs> I could tell. Yeah. yeah well, we both had I mean, music. Well, I really Happy can't believe that we spent Paul. two minutes trying to figure out Paul's birthday and how old he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Yeah. I mean, that's your boy. Have you skated dunks? You killed it. No, I never skated dunks. Probably won't. Why not? Too bulky? Yeah. I mean, they've done like thinner ones, like a shot had some thinner versions. And it's like a shoe where I see it. And I'm like, oh, it's cool. But it's not really for me. They never that's gave him a shoe, huh? Uh, he's not a no. He's not a pro shoe. He said colorways. Um, mm. As far as if I were to skate a dunk, I definitely wouldn't skate a high top dunk. I would never. That just looks like way too much for me. Well, but. after after learning about all that huff stuff, it's nice to it's nice to know and understand like how the shoe game works. And that was a very informative interview. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Glad that he did that before they uh, stopped making shoes. Well, it's nice. Yeah, I mean, I I don't I don't I don't know if there's been other articles or other companies that have said reasons why certain skateboarders. I mean, skateboarders now more than ever. It's it it's really big push on colorways more than it ever was in the past. Because mm-hmm. if that was the case, then you'd say, "Wow, I mean, am I not worthy? Am I yeah, not worthy of a shoe." Well, it's nice to know, like, and understand the the process of how manufacturing companies work and how what's what's feasible what's not feasible Cause sometimes skateboarders exactly. get skateboarders get ambitious and they're like well i want my shoe to be completely like this and you're like dude we don't even have the technology to do that <laughs> like, yeah and i mean the colorways are just a, a great test before giving someone a shoe you know see if people want to buy a shoe with that dude's name on it mm-hmm. if people like what he likes and whatever so I mean, obviously, not that that's not really the case for Paul. Paul said however many pro shoes, but he, he doesn't have a pro shoe in production right now, so it's cool to give him a Chloe of a dunk, a classic. Oh, does he not? Does he not have a shoe? Uh, no. He doesn't have a production shoe right now? Wow. Did they stop at 10? He never came out with 11, right? Mm, one sec. I'm trying to remember. He did have a 10th shoe, correct? He did have 10 for sure, yeah. I think, I believe the 10 was the last. Yeah, the 10 was the last one. I wonder if he even had a 10 shoe contract. I personally, I mean, I don't know about that. I don't think he's going to have another one, though. Probably not. Because if you pay close attention, at least from like 4 up to 10, somewhere in that range at least, it was every summer, like it, I think it was the end of summer, Beginning or end of summer is when his shoe would drop every year. And then that ended. So I don't think he's going to have another one. But I could see them doing more like stuff with Paul and like the dunk or a version of the blazer or something like that. But I don't think he'll have his own shoe again. I'd like to talk to him about that. I want to know. Yeah, be interesting. Who's who's the skateboarder that's had most shoes than Paul? Is there anyone that has had more shoes than Paul? Oh, Deerdeck had a lot of shoes. I was going to say Deerdeck had a lot. Yeah. But see, where it gets a little like iffy is like, yes, Paul had one through ten, but he also had like multiple versions of those numbers. Hmm. He had a 2.5 shoe. He had like Vulcan Cup versions, which I guess you would count as one because whatever, they're not that different. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah, he had more with, than like yeah. With Nike, shoot. yeah, they'll give you like like with Janowski, they had the Lunar on. They had the uh, I don't know what yeah, other. Yeah. I forgot. Paul had a lot. Paul had a running a runner shoe, the two point five. Uh, 
So was it the six that they did the Volk version of or something? He had, he had a ton of shoes. Did they ever re-release the first one? I don't know if they've done that. I could see them doing something like that, like a limited, a limited uh, run of like his first shoe or something. I wonder if he would ever skate his first shoe again. I could see it. His first shoe resembles the Dunk a little bit, or a decent amount. If that's the case, I want to like if if he knows he's not going to get another shoe again. Hey, what was your if you had to skate one shoe, what would it be? Since he came back from injury, he's been skating blazers a lot, blazer lows or the mids. Seems to like that one, which makes sense. It's just like a classic looking skate silhouette. Mm -hmm. Basic good shoe. Have you ever rocked any of his shoes? One of my first shoes were a pair of P-Rod 1s. My first skate shoes, I mean. Um, and, and a little bit after that, I had his 2.5 shoe, and then that was it. What are you skating now? Right now, I have slip-on Janowskis. Oh, you're skating those? Yeah. No way. I can like I, the slip-on Janowskis. Can I see them? Uh, they're in my car. What? Oh, you oh you keep your skate shoes. I leave shoes my skate in your car? shoes in my car, yeah. Oh. What are your chiller shoes? Got multiple. Jack oh. Purcells, Chuck Taylors. Uh I have Janowski slip ons that I chill in too. I'm actually skating the uh when I do skate. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm actually skating the these uh all black Janowskis. Oh yeah? Mm hmm How do they feel? I actually don't even think about it. So, I mean, I guess they're fine. That's the best thing if yeah. you don't think about your you're shoes. Not, yeah, if you're not thinking about it, yeah. That's one thing that uh, that has always drawn me towards slip-ons, at least in the past few years, is that it's a thing I don't I don't have to think about shoelaces. And that makes me think about my shoes less. It's oh. also mm. it's also one thing that I like about it is I'm really I'm worried about shoelaces and how my shoes are laced more so with like shoes I'm not skating in. But even if I'm skating in them, I want the shoelaces to look a certain way. And nope. if you're skating a slip on, like if you, okay, let's say you're skating shoes that have laces, right? Mm -hmm. You look down on them, they don't always look the same. Like a oh, one lace is like tied different, or like something even like the tongue moving will like bug me. But with slip ons, like you look down, your shoes look exactly the same. So, Always. So so now so now you're just anti laces. Uh not totally. I also skate shoes with laces, but it's something that I do like about slip ons. But the, I mean, the only slip ons I've skated are the slip on Janowski and the Converse slip on, and both of them are really good. I would skate either of those. They're great. Oh, I don't really look at that. Like I don't have that same madness that your OCD that you're experiencing about shoelaces. Picky about that stuff. Mm. But you know, one thing I really like. Um, the Blazer, I think, has it, and the Nike SB Bruin. They, the, there's elastic on the inside connecting the tongue to each side of the shoe so the tongue doesn't move left or right. Mm -hmm. That is, every shoe should have that. That is amazing. It is a pet peeve of mine when a, a tongue of a shoe moves because then it feels weird. Oh, that is annoying. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's when it, it shifts. It actually bugged me so much before that I super glued a tongue. Like you couldn't see the super glue, but I I did it so the tongue wouldn't move. Mm. Um, and yeah. I love that about the Bruin. I love that the tongue does not move left or right. It's amazing. That is awesome. I don't know why ever not every shoe just has that. At least it's a every thin little piece shoe. of elastic. At least at least yeah. a skate shoe. Exactly, I agree. Well, you're over there like flipping and flapping all over the place, and you have your tongue <laughs> over here fucked up and it's like it's all sideways i know exactly what you're talking about i used to suffer that a lot in my uh rodney uh, jeff raleigh or roley xlts mm, those things yeah. fuck me up i like, remember i've never skated booznitz but I've, uh, when you see people booznitz the tongue is always on the side always moves yeah that's ugly that's no fun. I mean, it's just no one wants it to sit on the side. You want it to be straight. It feels uncomfortable, too. At least depending on the type of tongue, I guess. But you can feel it sometimes that the tongue isn't centered. 
Or at least I can. And then I look down, I'm like, what is this? <laughs> the tongue needs to stop doing that. <laughs> would your would your tongue actually stay still if you super glued it? Yeah, it worked when I did it. I did it on Chuck Taylors, like skate Chuck Taylors. And it worked. I super glued it. Um I put super glue on the tongue and then pushed the tongue up, like right where to the left, like the inside of where the shoelace uh, little lace loops are. I super glued it, pushed it up, held it there for a minute, and then the tongue work sat there perfect. Same outcome as like when shoes come with elastic on the tongue. Well, can you skate with stuff in your pockets? Cell phone only, but I prefer nothing. But I don't always want to leave my phone like in a backpack or something. Yeah, I understand. I will not, I, I will not skate with my wallet in my pocket. I will not skate with my keys in my pocket. Yeah. Yeah, I can't skate with anything in my pocket. I can't. But what do you do with your phone? Leave, Sometimes... it, in the, leave it in the car. Oh, okay. I could see that. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah, I'll leave it in my car. Hidden, of course. Don't leave it out there in the fucking open. Yeah. Yeah, hide that bitch. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I can't I don't like skating with that shit. Now you know me, you know I'm I'm, I'm iPhoned that? up, so I gotta you know, if I'm filming with one of my iPhones, <laughs> then yeah, I'll bring yeah, the, straight I, up, you got so many iPhones. <laughs> that's how I film a lot of my podcasts. <laughs> yeah. I, I got I, I got two right here. <laughs> I got I got one charging right here, so I'm 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 iPhoned up and then these are and then my daily driver's over here chilling. You're so funny. Yeah. Oh uh, well, it's time to wrap it up, Grant. Yeah. But, uh, good Grant's Graham. Good show. Uh, thank you guys for skating with us. We'll catch you guys in, in t- uh, next week's session. See ya. <laughs>